This is ReactCast's episode 7, Hot Module Replacement. Hot Module Replacement is a webpack feature that allows on-the-fly module updates for your app. It lets you see your code changes reflected instantaneously on the browser, without a page reload. As magical as it may sound, it doesn't run automatically on any code. The developer needs to explicitly mark the modules that can be updated on the fly and specify how those updates should be handled. The good news is that there are already lots of libraries that automate this, which means that they automatically mark specific modules for hot replacement. Webpack's own style loader, for example, implements this for style sheets. Okay, very cool. Now, what does all this have to do with Create React App? Well, Create React App is the official command line interface for building new React applications, and it uses Webpack internally. What about hot module replacement? Well, Create React App does have hot module replacement working out of the box for style sheets, but not for React components. There is a reasoning behind this. The team behind Create React App is committed to providing a rock-solid solution, and the alternatives for React hot reloading are still a little rough on the edges, at least for broad usage. But in fact, it is pretty easy to enable React hot reloading for projects generated with Create React App. In this screencast, I will show you two quick tips for setting up React component hot reloading in apps created with Create React App. So, let's start off with solution number one. This is a very quick one. You just need to make a small change to the index.js file. I'll create a new React project here. I'll call it HMR Quick. Now, I am opening the index.js file and explicitly marking this module for hot reloading. I'm checking if hot module replacement is active. If module.hot, if it is, I'll mark the app component as hot replaceable. module.hot.accept app. Finally, I am specifying that the update should be handled simply by re-rendering the app component. const next app require app.default React DOM dot render next app the root element. That's all. Last test on the browser. See, if I added the app component or any of its children, the component is reloaded without a page refresh. Any changes on the source code will be previewed faster now. This is already a nice productivity boost, but your application still loses any internal state, just like a page refresh. To exemplify, I'll add a counter to my local state. I'm rendering the current counter here, this.state.counter, and adding a button to increment the counter. On click, set state, counter equals this.state.counter plus one. Let's test this. Okay, it works. Now, look what happens when I make an unrelated change to my component. See, I lost my internal state. In a big application, this can make a developer want to quit his job and go have a beer. But I told you I would show you two solutions, right? So this is solution number two. I'll start by creating a new React project. This time, though, I will use a React Hot Loader, a library by Dan Abramov. I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, but you know him. He's the guy behind Create React App, Redux, Normalizer, and many other awesome libraries. Next, I'm installing React Hot Loader with NPM. Okay, after installed, now we need to plug React Hot Loader into the Webpack configuration file but Create React App hides all configuration files. You see, Create React App's focus is on zero configuration, to let the developer concentrate on just writing the application. 
Fortunately though, it does provide an escape hatch. You just need to use npm run eject and it will spit out all configuration files. I'll open Webpack configuration file for development and change two things. The entry to use Webpack Dev Server, require.resolve Webpack Dev Server client and include localhost at port 3000. Then require.resolve Webpack hot only dev server. Next, I'm adding the React hot loader to the list of loaders. I'm testing for JS in the project path and loader, React hot, and that's all for configuration. In my project's app component, I am just setting the same local state counter example as before. Let's test on the browser. Let me click a few times. Okay, so far so good. Now let me change anything on the source code and see, the component was updated on the browser preserving the local state. And now you just learned how to add React Component Hot Reloading to create React App. From now on, your life will be easier because you will enjoy a nice productivity boost and maybe you'll even have more time to watch the next episode of React Casts. Don't forget to subscribe and please help spread the word of React Casts awesomeness with all your friends. Again, thank you Netlify for sponsoring us and go check out Netlify's status kit. It's the new way to quickly deploy status pages for your projects and control incidents through GitHub. Thanks for watching!